Hey guys, we're here in the shop today with our good friend Captain Chris Supley who's going to demonstrate how to tie a couple of our favorite Madison River fly patterns. Enjoy! Chris Supley here at Trout Stalkers Fly Shop in Ennis, Montana. And one of the flies that I'm going to tie for you today is um, our version of the Salmon Fly Chubby Chernobyl. Uh, just a version of the chubby, but we tie it in our salmon fly colors that we have here on the Madison River. It's late in the winter here and spring's approaching and kind of one of the first big hatches that we're going to run into um, is our, our salmon flies and they get pretty active late May into June and it's always good to tie a bunch of them and also just gets us thinking of spring and all those great memories and times that we have chasing fish with salmon flies. So great fly, it floats uh, Floats girdle bugs very, very well, and uh, we love them. We always have lots of them in our box come uh, May here on the Madison River. So let's get started. Okay, so to get this fly started, we're going to start off with some UTC Rusty Brown 6 aught thread. And we'll just get a little thread on the hook here. Uh, for the tail, we're going to use some black crystal flash. Maybe 10 or 15 strands of it. Just want to make a nice pronounced black tail. Just so going to lay that in there. And we want that tail about about a quarter of the length of the hook shank, roughly. You can kind of eyeball it and whatever looks good for you is fine. And the color that matches our salmon flies is this sort of wopsy, rusty orange. It's got a little brown and a little tan in it, but this is a uh, great color dubbing for our particular salmon flies here on the Madison River. So we're just going to start by covering this entire hook with dubbing. This is going to take quite a bit of it actually. Just want to build up a nice smooth dubbing body okay so once I get that hook all covered in this uh, wopsy dubbing we're going to use a piece of black three millimeter foam and I cut this to be roughly the gap of the hook. I also like to cut a little wedge on the back just to kind of give it a more buggy taper. So we're going to lay that on about even with the tail and we'll cinch that down not too tight at first because you don't want to cut it or tear it but once we kind of get it on there we'll give it a couple nice wraps. Okay, for the wing material, I like to use this Widow's Web, Montana Fly Company Widow's Web, and uh, we'll double it over so it'll be a really nice floating high vis wing. And we're going to take about you know, roughly the hook gap again, if you needed something to measure it by. The straggler, so we'll lay that in right on top of the foam. Tie it down nice and tight, and then we'll pull that back over. We'll tie that down. Okay, so at this point, we can take this widow's web and we want to cut it right even with the tail, keep a nice little wedge shape to it, just like that. For the leg material. We're going to use some barred silly flake silly legs. These guys can be a little challenging to work with at times, but just gotta be patient. So we'll set one leg away from me. Latch that down. Set another leg nearest to me. I'll 
smash that down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cover our work with this tan UV ice stub. I'm a big fan of the ice stub. It just takes a little bit to cover up all those thread wraps. And it gives the fly a little bit of segmentation. Like that. And then what we'll do is we'll advance the thread forward, but before I do that, I will dub a little bit of the Wopsy rusty orange on there. And kind of work that back towards the front of the hook. At which point we'll go ahead and grab this foam and tie the front part of the fly down. So here you can just go ahead and sort of clip that foam off, kind of get it out of your way. And we'll go back to our widow's web wing and we'll just sort of duplicate the back wing. And we'll just sort of find that same kind of angle again and get a nice trim there. Clean up any of those unruly fibers. And we'll go back to the barred silly legs. These make a really nice leg for this particular fly and very true to the color of this fly. Sometimes it probably really doesn't matter when they get keyed in on these salmon flies uh, what color you're using, but after a while they can get pretty picky on them. Okay, so now we've got our two sets of legs in there. We'll go back to the UV ice stub, covering up our thread work. Okay, if it's a little bushy, gives that fly a nice buggy look. All right, so we've got our eye stub in, and we'll just move forward to the head of the fly. Build a little thread head here. And a nice little hand whip. up these legs. There you go. The Madison River Salmon Fly Chubby. Tie them up, take them fishing. I think you'll love it. Thanks for watching.